Would you like to join the Legion? If you did not seek us, leave now. If you did seek us, leave now anyway. You are not ready to cross. Would you like to log in? Would you like to join the Legion? Something about Brave New World, if you're not aware of it, it's a book. Um, YouTube Unsolved, a video series by the Tech at Realm. And uh, basically creating a Reddit community called Join the Relig- excuse me, Join the Legion. And that's about it. Time frame. Tech at Realm put out a video September 9th, 2021. Almost exactly a month later, this caused a spike in Google Trends, which is the only thing I'm using as a reference point. There was obviously something before or after that. October 10th of 2021. Also a spike January 16th of this year and March 4th of this year, according to the spikes that you can see on the screen. And depending on how you feed in the information, you'll show it slightly different positioning, but those are approximately correct. Were there previous occurrences of this? Here we go. Would you like to join the Legion of Mary? Which is a, 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 a promotional activity by a particular religious group in 2019, February 9th. Would you like to join the Legion of Darkness? Started trending June 12th, 2018. There are other references. In 2005, Terry Pratchett put out a book called Thud. In it, there is a symbol described called the following dark symbol. It's actually part of the plot. From page 74 through 93, a circle with two diagonal lines through it is the description, which is literally a description of what people are seeing as the would you like to join the Legion symbol. Described as being similar to a British road sign for no parking, and also a character called Hemclaver makes the symbol on a table with spilled coffee, presumably. Kays, a YouTuber, in 2022, January 24th, 10 p.m., told me about that, and I was able to look it up and confirm, yes, that description, not the drawing of the symbol, just the description, existed all the way back in 2005. And again, previous trends were 2019 and 2018 for various things, simply because they were words that were trending. One of them was part of a promotional campaign by a group of people who are part of a belief system or religion. Another one is just, would you like to join the Legion of Darkness? Became trending for whatever reason. Uh, you can look up the reasons if you want to. These are actually kind of comical. You may have noticed they're both trending because they were trying to trend them. Promotional material or advertising. Some things that trend are done because someone's trying to make them trend. Some things trend quote-unquote, organically. We call that going viral. When someone tries to force something to trend or become popular or become a meme, it's called, on the parlance of the internet, a forced meme. That's literally all it's ever called. There are references that are partial matches with the wording or the visual symbol that people claim to have seen, heard, or experienced, or been involved in. And I'm going to list them off. Mind symbols for whatever usually a warning symbol. Other people claimed that it was a rune from some belief system and then said, I have the book in front of me. I can't tell you the name of it. Uh, I can send you a picture of the page. It's really trivial to write down the author and the name of the book and then let me try to find a copy of it. Oh, you can't find a copy, copy of it. Right. If it's an actual book, I almost always find the page you're talking about. And people don't like that because then I say, it's not on the page you're talking about. Try again. Then they don't want to talk to me anymore because I double-check people's truth. Facts are things that exist that anybody can check on. They're not secret. They're not hidden. Well, if something's secret or hidden, then you can't have facts about it. Yeah, but you can create truth without facts. When I pin someone down while they're squealing and squirming with reality like this, it bugs them. So people come in and defend somehow a need for, we have to have mysterious, everything is mysterious. I've had someone chant that at me one day because they were psychotic. No, not everything is mysterious. Things are only mysterious until you 
lift the veil and learn. The whole point of mystery for these people isn't to undo the mystery. It's to experience it and wallow in it. The Tekkit Realm put up a video trying to make a viral video. If you see this symbol, be afraid, be very afraid, run away. And then apparently went around his neighborhood or had his friends in other cities, or it doesn't matter, could have been across the street. Take photos of the symbol or the wording, would you like to join the Legion, drawn on a wall or put on a piece of paper that was stapled to a phone pole or utility pole or whatever. You know, like someone in your area promoting a band and putting up flyers. And if it hasn't been hammered into your head or up your ass that this is virtually impossible for this to be a real organic occurrence and Tekkit Realm is doing what Tekkit Realm does. Tekkit Realm was doing Tekkit Realm things that day. Uh, it's a YouTube channel that does viral videos, clickbaity shit, that sort of thing. And if it gets a reaction, does follow-ups because it gets page views. And because it's fun. If I do a... Um, a totally cromulent series of, of uh, short stories. I've actually done short stories on the channel. They're all dead now. Before. Um, if people like it, you do more. It's a creative activity. It's also completely harmless. And this is also still completely harmless. Or I'm going to say that Tech at Realm's attempt at being famous has been mostly harmless. Some of you get these jokes. Some of you are the punchlines. I'm just joking. Some of you don't know that that's from... Just just go look it up. So, it's more fun to look it up and find out where it goes to. I could... Okay, yes. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. But it's more fun if you look it up because then you discover something. That's why this is fun. This wasn't. The day the guy put up the video, there was a tiny spike on Google Trends, and then it went away. And then it went up again a month later when people rediscovered it, and then there's a Reddit whole subsection dedicated to something he pulled out of his ass. The symbol probably wasn't stole from Terry Pratchett's 2005 book, Thud. It doesn't matter. It's also that the expression being very commonly occurring, it, there's something like this. There's the French Foreign Legions, and at one time there was a poster in French that said, would you like to join the Legion? Because there was. I don't have to prove it. But yeah, this is not an unusual expression or term or meme, and it occurred in 2019, 2018, 2004, 2005, 2020, and 2021. The last time it happened, it was some guy on YouTube creating a trend. No, it's not a symbol from folklore. It's not a symbol for a mind shaft. No, because they're inconsistent, and I couldn't find any examples that exist. If you say, oh, I discovered this while looking up mine shaft symbols. Then when I look up the mine shaft symbols, mysteriously it's gone, or maybe you're just mistaken. Then now we get to the next layer. Mystery is great. People like uh, having fun like this. Spook stories are good. Copy pasta, creepy pasta is okay. But, I'm not wrong, and I'm going to beat your head in with a hammer because you don't agree with me, is the inevitable outcome of the Karens on the internet. Well, you're, you're casting aspersions on my belief system. You brought up runes, and it had nothing to do with it. None of the symbols look like this. The point of a symbol is that it's supposed to be distinct, not you... The person told me to look up symbols for Krognor. And that's not the name, but I'm just going to use that. And it was a circle. A serpent eating its tail and variations thereof. It had no double slashes. One of the reasons uh, the International Standards Organization or whatever it was decided to use the circle slash is it wasn't being used by anybody else except for, if you're not aware of it, a, uh, a character in a language. For a sound. They picked one that would be distinctive visually and people wouldn't have a problem with it being reused. You can look up the history of the circle slash if you want to. Was this a mining symbol? You can't tell me. If, you, if that's your response, if you can't tell me anything, then stop watching. I'm going to. 
No, it's not a universal symbol or a commonly used symbol or a symbol in your country, your state, or county for something in mining. I went through, there's a cross-reference for these things because standards in mines have to be known about. Most mines use a simple symbology that some of you might have heard of called writing out exactly what the fuck the thread is. If you're not aware of it, putting a simple skull and crossbones on a container doesn't really do much. Telling me it's poisonous because it's cyanide does. So it has the word cyanide and poison. Wow, what an innovation. Putting a universal symbol on things doesn't work because symbols aren't universal. The actual reason for not putting skull and crossbones or a series of patterns showing a healthy person and then a dead body on a nuclear canister is a person might read it the other way around and think it revives the dead. You do not use what you think are universal symbols. Because that's stupid. You can look up the 10,000 year earworm for glowing radioactive cats. Yes, that would... I'll include, and you can listen to the song. It's kind of catchy. You will forget it. It's not a true earworm. Why am I doing this video? This is a dumb subject, and the tech at Rome doesn't deserve any amplification, so I'm just going to put in the basics here. People don't like believing that mythology is crap for data storage. Okay, let's look at an example. Every religion had an origin story, and we've dug up all the original copies they've mutated and bastardized since then. Now, you won't say that about your belief system, but you'll point at every other religion. Everybody in every religion does that to every religion. By definition, the majority of the population, or the majority of populations, or the majority of religions, have disproven every other religion, which means... They're all wrong, but let's do the other thing. If I can show you that every religion has mutated and warped during time and isn't the original old-time religion, that means it's not the old-time religion. Uh, uh, well, a what? Science changes over time. It's literally part of its basis for it. But people point out and say, you can't make a decision on what reality is. Yeah, over a 100-year lifespan... We find out that we're wrong about things and correct it. That's not something dishonorable. That's called being a grown-up. Religion refusing to acknowledge that there was a spelling error 2,000 years ago. You can look up the spelling error, the 2,000-year spelling error that caused a war, if you want to. It was corrected a while ago. Okay, it was corrected 2,000 years ago, right? A particular group of people got a particular version of belief system, you know, ritualistic book and didn't catch the spelling error. Everybody else did. And then they started a war between each other because they wouldn't admit that some scribe made a mistake or a drop of ink got in the wrong spot or a chisel hit went wrong. That's actually a short story. Actually, it's a sci-fi story. But it's based on something that really did fucking happen. So we have that point right now where no... You wanting things to be a certain way and being willing to lie about it gets called out. Not to the people who made comments this entire X number of months. But to all of humanity for the last million goddamn years, I swear. You, you know, it was the lizard people that ran the planet first. And anyway, the point is, this is a symptom of what's fucking us in the ass right now and people need to stop doing it. Why do you do these videos? Because stupidity is a learned behavior now. It used to be just the lack of information. Now it's based on distorting the shit out of facts you can really easily look up so you couldn't possibly make these mistakes by accident. And we all do it. Sorry to preach, but the ticket realm is a symptom. He's just trying to get he's trying to get videos up. He's trying to do spook stories. He's trying to have fun. He's trying to have suspension of disbelief. This is not important, which is the reason I'm touching on it. Because it's a perfect example of it. Not because he did a goddamn thing wrong. He did the standard thing for storytelling. He left dangling participles everywhere. That's not the right word. It's people showing up, trying to fill in the gaps with whatever they wish to believe and not any facts. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Wish me luck, too. I need it, too.